Welcome to this Sage Business Cloud Accounting demo. In this video, you will be shown how to create and manage sales invoices in Sage Accounting. This will help you keep track of what your customers purchase from you, how much they owe you, and when payment is due. From the Sales tab, select Invoices from the drop down menu. A list of your most recent invoices appears. Click New Invoice to create a new invoice. You could also create an invoice directly from the plus symbol by clicking Invoice. Start by selecting a customer to invoice. If they're already in the list, you can select them or search for a customer by typing a part of their name in the field. To add a new customer, simply click Add a customer. In this case, we select South Pine Senior Centre. The invoice address and the delivery address populate automatically but these addresses can be modified if necessary. The invoice date defaults to today's date. It can also be modified as needed. The due date calculates automatically based on the payment terms set up for this customer, if they have been configured, or the due date is based on the payment terms defined in the record and transaction settings. If needed, you may indicate a reference number, such as a purchase order number, now let's begin adding the products or services that you would like to bill. The most efficient way of billing products or services is to select them from a predefined list. Use the drop down menu to select a product or service, or type a part of the item or item number to look it up. To add a new product or service, simply click Create Item. Here we select our Lawn Maintenance Service. Notice that the description, ledger account and the price or rate populate automatically. The tax rate also defaults to the default taxes in the province of the delivery address. You can accept the defaults or modify the account, the price and the tax rate. Update the quantity billed if necessary. In this case we're billing our customer for six hours of lawn maintenance. A discount can be entered if needed, either as an amount or as a percentage. Let's grant this customer a 5% discount. Note that the discount column will only appear on the printed or emailed invoice if it is used. If you would prefer to type a description on the fly, without using a list of items, you can simply type it in the description column. Let's quickly add a second line for a stump removal. This time we manually type a price. The ledger account, quantity, discount and tax rate can be manually updated as needed. The default notes will appear, as well as the terms and conditions, unless custom terms and conditions were set up in the individual record. Both fields can be modified as needed. In the bottom right area, you may add shipping to the invoice and select the tax rate to use for shipping. Totals appear, including the discount, amount before tax, tax amount, and the invoice total. At this point we have several options to choose from. If the invoice is not quite ready to be saved, it can be saved as a draft invoice. This will allow you to complete the invoice later. To save the invoice without emailing it and without printing it, click Save. A drop down menu allows you to save an email, save and print, or save and create a new invoice. The most commonly used option here is Save and Email. Let's click it. The customer's email address, as well as the email subject and message, appear automatically. Email defaults can be updated in the settings if needed. You also have the option to print a copy of the invoice, and to send an email copy to yourself if you wish. Let's click Send. The invoice now appears in your list of invoices with the status unpaid. Let's click the invoice to manage it. The invoice details display on the screen as well as a timeline which is very convenient to track whether or not your customer has received, viewed and paid the invoice. From here you have the option to take a card payment if you have configured a payment service, or you can manually record a payment. Note that payments for outstanding invoices can also be recorded from the banking tab. Additional options allow you to email or print the invoice again. Click Share Link if you would like to privately share this invoice. The Edit button allows you to make changes to an existing invoice. 
Note that if a receipt has already been recorded for an invoice, the receipt would need to be unallocated before you are able to edit the invoice. This is only possible if the payment has not been reconciled yet. Click Copy if you would like to create a new identical invoice. Before saving the new invoice, you will be able to make changes to any of the fields. It is very convenient if you have recurring types of invoices or if several of your invoices are similar. The Add Credit Note option can be used in case of a return from your customer or to offer a partial or full credit for this invoice. Finally, you also have options to download a PDF copy of the invoice, to print a packing slip and even to void the invoice if it was created by mistake. Congratulations! You now know how to create and manage sales invoices in Sales Business Cloud Accounting. Music